Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss the third part of previous year question for the posture scientific oyster biology forensic science laboratory. In the previous video I wrongly uh, pronounced the patient as protein. Okay, the only immunoglobulin seen in patient with X-linked agamoglobulinemia. Okay, instead of patient I pronounce uh, protein. I apologize for that. Let us begin our discussion. Okay, the question is, the common mark and recapture method used to estimate the total population density in a defined area is? Okay, before uh, going to the answer, at first we can make a look at all the options. The option A, Lothka Volterra Index. Option B, Lincoln Index. Option C, Leibig Index. And option D, Harbour Index. Okay, at first we can uh, briefly understand all these options. Okay, Lotka Volterra model or Lotka Volterra index was first proposed or developed by Lotka and Volterra to explain prey predator relationship. So, remember, Lotka Volterra model is associated with the prey predator relationship. They are actually explaining uh, by this model the prey predator relationship. Okay. The next one is the Lincoln Index. It is widely used to estimate animal population size in a particular area. It is very difficult to count each and every animal present in a particular area to estimate uh, population size. So, what is actually doing in this method is, at first we are capturing uh, that particular animal. Um, we want to know their uh, population density. Then mark them with a tag then release them and wait for a particular period of time. Then recapture these animals again. And by applying a suitable formula, we are uh, calculating the approximate population density of that particular animal in that particular area. Okay. As far as uh, your CSI net license examination is concerned, uh, this uh, method is of immense significance. You people will get at least one problem from this portion. Okay, immediately uh, I will um, upload a video uh, regarding this method and um, the easy the method to find out that uh, solution for the particular problem. Next one is the Leibniz index. It is associated with a law known as Leibniz law. Leibniz law is one of the laws uh, explaining law of limiting factor. We already studied about uh, the Blackman's law of limiting factor in photosynthesis. Okay, uh, what do you mean by Blackman's law of limiting factor? When a chemical process or a biological process is controlled by several factors and the rate or phase of that particular process is determined by the factor which is nearest to the minimal value. And it is known as uh, the Blackman's law of limiting factor. Okay, in uh, that sense, it is very similar to Blackman's law of limiting factor. Leibniz's law states that uh, as far as the population is concerned, the growth of the population is uh, determined by the limiting factor. That is the factor which is nearest to the minimal value and not the abundance factor, the most available factor. Okay. This is the uh, Leibniz law. For example, we can uh, consider the growth of a population. Okay, the growth of population is determined by the availability of nutrients, the availability of uh, oxygen, and the climatic factors. Okay, if there is a lot of uh, nutrients are available and abundant amount of oxygen is available, but the climatic condition when it is limited then the growth and development of the uh, population will not take place properly. Okay, because the growth and uh, development of that particular population is influenced by that lowest factor or limiting factor, nam namely climatic factor. Okay, this actually this uh, Leibniz's uh, law or index means. Look at the fourth option, it is Haber index. Haber index is related to Haber process. It is an artificial nitrogen fixing process uh, in which uh, the nitrogen is fixed in the form of ammonia. It is also known as Haber-Bosch process. 
okay so from this option now you know that the correct answer is what the correct answer is the link all index this index is widely used to um, estimate the population density in a particular area by recapture method the mark and recapture method okay i'm inviting your attention to the next question the question is the chi square is zero when the option a is expected frequency is lesser than the observed frequency option b is expected frequency is equal to the observed frequency option c is expected frequency is greater than the observed frequency and the final option is expected frequency is double that of observed frequency okay at first we can um, understand what is chi square test in brief chi square test is one of the important tests to find out the significance okay it was developed by carl pearson in 1900 okay and the chi square test is a non parametric test and it is not based on any assumption or distribution of any variable and this statistical test mainly follow specific distribution known as chi square distribution okay in short uh, the test we use to measure the difference between what is observed and what is expected according to an assumed hypothesis called as chi square test okay so this chi square test is widely used to find out the significance uh, based on the expected and observed value this is the formula for the calculation of chi square chi square is usually designated by a symbol x square and the equation is chi square is equal to uh, sigma o minus e the whole square divided by e where o stands for observed frequency and e for expected frequency okay look at the uh, third statement if two distribution that is observed and theoretical are exactly alike the chi square is equal to zero okay now i think uh, you people got the answer the correct answer for this uh, question is option b that is expected frequency is equal to the observed frequency the next question is a taxon based on fossilized work including trails tracks and burrows by an animal is option a is hypotype option b is hypodim option c is ichnotaxon and the final option is idiotype look at the first option that is hypotype hypotype is a type specimen which is used to describe the plants and animal okay and uh, uh, in hypotype a particular plant or animal is described based on the data available on previous uh, publication or it is described based on certain figures such a type of type specimen is known as hypotype option b is hypodigm hypodigm means it's a sample from which the characters of a particular plant or animal or a population is being described a taxon based on fossilized work is known as ichnotaxon that is the option c idiotype is a type specimen explained by an author but it is uh, collected from a region other than the region described by the author so the correct option for this question is option c ichno taxon okay the next question is the neutralist theory of evolution was proposed by option a sacco option b garo option c moto kimura option d andrus wagner the neutral theory or neutralist theory of molecular evolution was developed and advanced by the scientist moto kimura and according to this theory there are two uh, basic principles one is the most natural population harbor a high level of genetic variation and this high level of genetic variation is much more than the expected which is due to na uh, natural selection and uh, many mutation in sequence of genes do not alter the proteins encoded by those genes because those uh, mutation uh, might be uh, nonsense mutation or missense mutation like that so the answer for this question is option c motokimura 
The next question is the graph obtained by plotting reciprocal of initial velocity and substrate concentration is option A ED Hofstra plot, B line weaver bar plot, C J plot, and D damage at them plot. Okay, this question is from the portion that is from the topic enzyme kinetics. This is one of the important equation in the topic enzyme kinetics. The equation is known as Michael's Menten equation. The equation is that V0 is equal to V max into S divided by Km plus S. Here V0 is the initial velocity, V max is the maximum velocity, and the S is the uh, substrate concentration, and Km is the Michaelis maintained constant. Km is actually the concentration required to produce half the maximum velocity. That is, Km is the concentration, substrate concentration required to produce half the maximum velocity. This is a basic Michaelis maintained equation. There are certain drawbacks for the Michaelis Menten equation. For our reasons, we are taking the reciprocal of Michaelis Menten equation. Okay, you know that the Michaelis Menten equation is V0 is equal to V max into S divided by Km plus S. When we are taking the reciprocal of that Michaelis Menten equation, it will be 1 by V0 is equal to Km divided by V max into S plus 1 by V max. Okay, when we plot this equation um, on a graph, then we will get a graph like that okay and this graph is known as line weaver bar plot okay where y is equal to m plus it is straight line equation it is the equation to find out what you know slope okay this is actually the line weaver bar plot and this line by line weaver bar plot is obtained by plotting reciprocal of initial velocity and substrate concentration isn't it so the correct option for this question is option B, line weaver, bar plot. It is simply the reciprocal plot of Michaelis Menten equation. Okay. And uh, this uh, line weaver bar plot as well as this Michaelis Menten equation is of much importance um, as your CSR net life science exam is concerned. Okay. Thanks for watching. The remaining questions with the discussion will be uploaded at the earliest. If you like my video, please share, comment and subscribe my channel and keep in touch.